Let's continue our introductory tour of Windows 7 with a look at the Start menu. To access the Start menu, click once on the Start globe down here. OK, so this is the Windows 7 Start menu. It should look instantly familiar to Windows Vista users, but might look a little different to Windows XP users. At the top here, we have some recently used items. Items with an arrow to the right of them here have a sub-menu, for example, getting started. If I hover over this icon, like I am doing here, we can see sub-items that take you to useful places for getting started with Windows 7. You can also click the Getting Started icon here to take you straight to the Getting Started section of the control panel. Let's just close that for now. Now let's go back to the Start menu again. On the right here, we have some shortcuts to key places or items on your computer. For example, we can jump directly to our own personal folder here by clicking here. We can explore the computer this was known as My Computer in Windows XP, by clicking here. Change various settings in the control panel, or other places on your computer, or get help and support. Below that, we have the shutdown button. Obviously, clicking the shutdown button will power down your computer. If we hover over the arrow here, we can see other options such as logging off this user, switching users, locking the computer, or putting the computer to sleep, which is like a low-power standby mode. Now, of course, the Start menu is the launchpad for other software on your PC. So how do we launch software if it's not on the list here? Well, the most common way to do this is by typing the name of the program into the search box here. So, say I wanted to play Spider Solitaire. I could just search for spider here and there's the game now although I said programs searching like this actually finds pictures documents and other files too you'll notice that it also found one picture to open a program picture or any other type of file click it once and there we go there's my creepy picture of a spider Let's close that for now. OK, we can also browse the Start menu the old-fashioned way. That is, by going to All Programs. just need to hover over this, you don't need to click. If you're used to Windows XP, you'll notice that the Start menu items do not fly out all over the screen anymore. Instead, you simply get a list like this, as was the case in Windows Vista. You can use the scroll bar here to scroll down the list. If you click on a folder, the list will expand out like this. Now, as before, we can start a program by clicking on it. Or we can explore some extra options by right-clicking on an icon. Let's right-click on this icon here. OK. This opens up what is called a context menu. Now, the only two menu options I want to discuss in detail in this video are Pin to Taskbar and Pin to Start Menu. If I choose Pin to Start Menu, then go back to the regular Start Menu, you can now see the icon at the top here, with a thin line separating it from the other items. This icon will now permanently stay pinned to the top of my Start menu. Unlike the most recently used icons here, which will gradually be replaced by other programs that you use more often, you can use the Pin to Start menu facility for your favourite or important programs. To unpin an icon, simply right-click and choose Unpin from Start menu. Likewise, with Pin to Taskbar, if I do that, the icon moves to the taskbar. 
You can pin your icons to the taskbar or start menu however you like. You can also pin items to the desktop. Though in line with earlier versions of Windows, this is called creating a shortcut. To do this, first search for the item you want to display on your desktop here. Now, right click on the icon and choose send to, then choose desktop brackets create shortcut. And if I just close the start menu now, now you can see the icon on the desktop. You can also drag and drop icons from the start menu onto the desktop, but doing so may remove them from the start menu, which is probably not what you want. This concludes our introduction to the start menu in Windows 7. We'll cover advanced start menu customization in a later tutorial. You may also want to watch Microsoft's own Discover Windows 7 videos. You can do that by clicking here. Start. Getting started. Then click Go Online to find out what's new in Windows 7. You may need to configure your web browser before you can do this.